Hey guys, what's up? Toba Loco here, and today we are back with our Angelia quest. We have just qualified. I'm about to press the continue button right now and send us to the draw. The draw, which will find out which group we're in in the actual World Cup. South Africa in Group A, as as predicted. Spain in Group B. Argentina in Group C. Italy in Group D. Holland in Group E, Czech Republic in Group F, Brazil in Group G, and Germany in Group H. Okay, so Switzerland are in uh, Group A. This is going to be exciting. I, I, I'll be in Pot 4, I think. It'll be very exciting to see England and Argentina are in the same group. Wow, okay, I really want to avoid that group then. Italy and Portugal as well. We've got some groups of death coming up right now. This is going to be insane. Holland and France as well. Oh my god. These groups are going to be so tough. Group A looks like the one that I want to be in. Or Group F, potentially. Potentially. Brazil and Russia in the same group. So that means Germany and Sweden, just like the actual World Cup. Yeah, I am in Pot 4. So I really want to be in Group A, to be honest. So group A looks like the, uh, the, the sort of easiest group. This is going to be insane. Oh my god. Like some of these groups. USA, I do not want to be in Group D. Don't put me in Group D. Wait, the USA didn't qualify. Why is that bullshit? They did not qualify. Why did they put them in there? Costa Rica, please don't put me in Group D. Please don't do that to me. Canada, thank god. So I'm in either one of these groups at the bottom. Oh, Holland, France, and Gilead, and Japan. What a draw! But I avoid some of well, I avoid some of the groups of death. I mean, I am technically in a group of death. From North Korea in a group at the very back there, right? So I don't think I'm gonna, I'm gonna get out of this World Cup. Here we go then. Anglia versus Japan. Oh no, I forgot about this. During gameplay, the the Vuvuzelas. And the crowd as well. This is what we came here for. The Vuvuzelas, the crowd, the action shots. It is the World Cup 2010 and Angelia are part of it. Representing themselves. And uh, it seems a little bit odd that the crowd is like full up for an Angelia Japan game. Like, there wouldn't be that many Angelians going, surely. The country's only got a population of like like 14,000 it said on this game so it's either gone up or down since then guns will he get his first World Cup goal perhaps he just been fouled on the edge of the box that was a really bad free kick but oh off the bar unlucky okay that was a worthy of a foul was it i see the bullshit caribbean refereeing has come over here to south africa okay, this guy is practically through get the fuck off he just tackled me when i was about to make a shot oh my god oh my god guns that should have gone in mate that should have gone in not bad for first half in the world cup Angelia, nil nil against Japan. Really solid there. Very drab so far. Here comes Guns. Oh, unlucky. Unlucky. Oh, an own goal by Japan. It's an own goal. And Angelia are 1 0 up in the World Cup. Japan manager cannot believe what he's just seen. This was amazing. Crossed in, headed quite well, but then, oh, it's that, that sort of first touch lag that the old FIFA games had. He almost cleared it off the line. If there was uh, on a goal line technology, maybe they would have got it, but Angelia are 1 0 up against Japan. A shock result if I've ever seen it. Just like when I beat the USA 1 0. As the minutes roll down, Japan are really struggling to get past Angelia's defence. They, they can't believe it, Japan, Japan fans. It easily could be two. Off the post again with that, that 
bullshit. <laughs> that always happens when you angle your player that way. And the underdog's still in front. Nobody gave this team a, a prayer, Andy, and here they are still holding on. Yeah, but don't you just love it, Clive, when the underdogs are nearly there? What a game we've got here. And it's over. Anguilia have won against Japan. One of the weirdest results of the World Cup. Incredible. We're in it to win it. Our first three points, Anguilia have finally got to a World Cup and actually won a game. They did so well in qualifying, I think they deserve it, to be honest. Okay, Holland versus Anguilia. Look at that stadium. That's a beautiful stadium. I remember that in the actual World Cup. This is incredible. I love... Like, why couldn't FIFA do this for the 2018 one? Why? Like, okay, you've got the fans and everything, but like... I don't know, this one felt more special, I guess. It was just cooler. Okay, here we go then. Anguilia versus Holland. But it's okay, because look at this, he's through. Oh, that was so close. I could have gone early lead against Holland. Yes. I love script. Oh, good save. How did you miss that? Good tackle. Absolutely brilliant tackle. And it's nil nil at half time. Anguilia Holland. The advantage was held so long that the World Cup could have finished by the time it was off the screen. But we might have found a way with Abbott. He's running down the wing. The Anguilia King? Quite possibly. Oh my god, if that was on target. Here we go, it's Gums. Could he get a last minute winner? Yes, he can! It's 1-0 to Anguilia! And Anguilia are going out of the group stages. And hopefully towards the round of 16. Yes, it's a last minute winner. They shocked the world. Holland were too complacent. Look at him. I don't know why that player is getting angry at the bottom. He's an Anguilia player. <laughs> the world has been shocked. Anguilia won. Holland nil. And it's effectively the last kick of the game. Come on, really? And it's over. Holland have been embarrassed by Anguilia. And now you've got to believe that Anguilia have got to... Well, they're going to do something. Look how happy they are. They're loving life. What a match. Squeezed by them, but... Yes, a vital three points. Which means now that I've got six points. And that means one of the big boys are going out. <laughs> Here we go, then. This match basically just means nothing. It just decides who plays who in the next group. Yeah, but it doesn't matter because I've beaten Holland. Oh, France. The strike there, but it doesn't matter. Oh, good pass there. Oh, almost, but that's basically a goal, isn't it? No! Heroic double save by the Anguillian keeper. Waiting for Gums to make that run, and he has. And it's 1-0. Gums there. So good. One nail, Anguilia, France. France have got a free kick. In the 18th minute, Cantier and rescore. Oh, almost did actually. Not that far away. It's game over. Anguilia have embarrassed France as well. In the 2010 World Cup, they are here to stay. Top of the group. Incredible results. I don't think if they got that um, lucky result against Japan, I would have probably lost against Japan and then yeah it would have been game over but we march on so we got one more video after this and that's basically the knockout rounds but before we go let's have a look at those tables shall we and uh, Algeria and uh, South Africa have gone through that's pretty cool uh, Spain and Slovenia look like they've gone through really odd group there Spain basically destroyed everybody and then the other guys were like oh let's draw against each other that's really strange yeah 
Uh, England and Argentina go through. Australia and Costa Rica are out. Group D, United States top that group with Portugal. Italy and Canada go home. Pretty incredible stuff there for the United States to top that group. Obviously, of course, Angelia and France. Uruguay and Turkey go through. Mali and Czech Republic are out. So, uh, Brazil and Russia go through. And Germany and Sweden go through. Oh, so, it's going to be one of these World Cups. One of these basic World Cups. But with Anguilia in it. So, we're against Turkey for our next match. You can see that in the next episode. But anyway... If you're enjoying this, then give it a like, subscribe if you're new here and notifications are on, ring that little bell. Uh, this has been Toba Loco. Keep it loco. And I'll see you again for the next Angelia World Cup episode.